Could DNA editing actually resurrect species that disappeared long ago? From mammoths to dodos, the idea of restoring extinct animals has captivated scientists and the public alike. In recent years, advances in genetic technology have opened the door to what was once purely science fiction. But is it truly possible to bring these lost creatures back? The science behind de-extinction is rooted in DNA editing, particularly through a method called CRISPR. CRISPR technology allows scientists to edit the genetic code of living organisms, potentially reconstructing the genomes of extinct species using preserved DNA samples. For example, scientists have sequenced the genome of the woolly mammoth, a species that went extinct roughly 4,000 years ago. By comparing its genome to that of its closest living relative, the Asian elephant, scientists have found potential ways to insert mammoth-like traits into elephant embryos. These changes could theoretically recreate a mammoth-like animal adapted to cold environments. While the potential is there, the process is far from straightforward. Even with the genetic code of an extinct species, scientists face the challenge of creating viable embryos and ensuring they develop normally. Besides technical hurdles, there are also ethical concerns. Many argue that bringing back extinct species could disrupt existing ecosystems or that resources might be better allocated to conserving endangered species rather than resurrecting extinct ones. However, there are potential environmental benefits. Bringing back species like the woolly mammoth might help restore certain ecosystems. For example, some researchers believe that reintroducing mammoth-like creatures to the tundra could help prevent permafrost from thawing by naturally compacting the soil, potentially mitigating some effects of climate change. In the end, while DNA editing has brought us closer than ever to de-extinction, the full realization of this dream remains uncertain. Still, the possibilities have expanded scientific horizons and sparked critical discussions about humanity's role in shaping the natural world. Thank you.